Right, we're here today to uh, just have a quick look at some work that our trainees done. Um, the ladies paid us to install some uh, power into her, uh, what's going to be a garden uh, office effectively. So we've put in plenty of uh, power points in there. We've put a heater in, as you can see, which we've got going at the moment. So it's about four degrees outside. Got a power point down there. I think a phone point's going to go down there. We've also put in, there's a couple of uh, socket outlets, you can see that uh, Craig's done quite a nice, neat job of running the cables and the conduit. We've got a timer in there, which you should be able to see some details of, turn some security lights on and off. So what we're going to do today, and that's the thermostat for the heater, so what we're going to do today is just have a quick look at uh, safe isolation and a couple of tests on one of the circuits. It's not a video, the full... Uh, uh, inspection. Um, that would take too long to video. This is just for information. Right, okay, this is the same uh, consumer unit with the uh, cover off. Uh, going from left to right, you can see the uh, main switch which incorporates a 30 milliamp RCD. Um, the next one over, we've got a, a miniature circuit breaker uh, which is a 20 amp type B which does the uh, socket outlets below this consumer unit which is the circuit we're going to test. Um, the other one's also doing the pond pump, um, the heater, then we've got socket outlets on the other side of the office, um, and also we've got the internal and external lights on the far right. Uh, you can also see down the bottom there, um, my mate Craig's put in the uh, earth bond over from the incoming power supply to the outgoing supply, which I believe uh, is going down to the pond pump and uh, he's also done quite a nice neat job of the outgoing circuits. Right, okay, what we're going to do now is test um, the load current on one of the circuits, this one here, which is the heater circuit. It's got a 16 amp um, type B miniature circuit breaker, OBS 60898. Um, we've wired, or rather Craig has wired this in, uh, looks like 2.5 mil single PVC cable. Um, this occasion we're going to set it to amps and we're going to insert it on the line conductor and you might be able to see there the reading on the display at 8.1 amps we can actually press this button here and it will hold that reading at 8.1 amps that's useful when the uh, display sometimes can't be uh, seen properly if it's dark poor lighting etc you can just press that and it uh, keeps the actual reading on there Right, okay, so we've got uh, 8.1 amp there. That also confirms the rating of the heater um, because what we can do is take the uh, supply voltage, which in this case is around about 230 volts, and we can multiply that by the amps, which is around about 2 kilowatt. So we know we've got a 2 kilowatt heater on that. We know it's well within the 16 amp rating of the miniature circuit breaker and well within the rating of the 2.5 um, cable. Okay, we're now going to do our R1, R2 dead tests, and for this we're going to use our little uh, crocodile clip links, which is just a solid piece of uh, wire with two crocodile clips on either end. We're going to put one clip onto our CPC, which is our R2, and the other clip onto the line conductor, which is our R1. That's then created a link between the two, and what we then do is go to the opposite end of the circuit, which is the bottom socket outlet, and using our multi-tester, which is a, a Fluke 1653 unit, we've got it set onto continuity, and I've already zeroed out the uh, test leads. Just to go through that again, what we do is we put the two leads together and press zero.